just um, we're testing the amount of oil that we're putting in the paint because I want to make sure I, I know that people have run into some difficulties and I want to make sure that we're giving giving the, the optimum amount of oil that nothing dropped out the, the, the best amount of oil for the, the best amount of paint so that the paint is most easily worked with um, if the paint is too thick it, it's very hard to get it to do what you want it to do um, and if it's too thin it doesn't cover and so trying just trying to make sure before we get started on all the videos that I'm going to tell you what to do I want to make sure that I've got the paint right one of the problems, Daniel and I were just talking about this, one of the problems with me doing this is that even if the paint was 20% thinner than it should be, I'm still gonna get the result. <laughs> because I, I know how to manipulate the material and I do it without even really thinking. And so even if the material is not optimum, I'm still able to eke out what I want from it. So the idea is that I want, it has to be completely solid, it has to be one value. And it should not fall off the brush, but it should come off the brush pretty easily. Yeah, so I mean five is, five is fine. We'll see what seven is. I don't think we'll go above seven, I don't think. Into building a program like this, like everything that we're doing, like we've done this before but I'm checking it again. I'm using a different measuring stick to tell people how much paint to put out. And so I wanna make sure using that measuring stick that we are giving them the best advice for how to set the stage to succeed. Right. So I was using a different medium. I was using the medium that we mix here at the school. And I was able to get all the way up to nine drops of oil in the paint and it was still covering with no issue. And even 11, I, I didn't even bother because we're not putting 11 drops of oil on our paint. Um, so is the medium here at the school different from just the straight linseed oil? Yes. Yes, we don't use straight linseed oil. Um, I'm not a fan of it by itself. So I actually like to mix um, a little bit of alkyd into the oil and that so the oil keeps the paint wet the alkyd dries it overnight it also it sets up a little bit differently while you're working so it gets a little bit it gets a little sticky um a little bit earlier in the process so and just for me i prefer that and so that's what we do here at the school we we set up little dropper bottles specifically with the, with the mixture so it's like five parts of linseed oil one part alkyd Something like that. <clears throat> so it has a slightly different, it's slightly different. Um, it's not quite as slippery as just oil by itself. I mean, other than that, it, and the, again, with the alkaline, it dries a little bit faster, like overnight, it's guaranteed. With the, with just the linseed oil in it, it's possible that it doesn't. Depends how much paint goes down, what the colors are. Yeah, we did notice that it like dried really fast. We were like, whoa, that's cool. I usually yeah. use clove oil in, in my paint. In yeah, it. yeah. We're, we're trying to get away from that. Um, everybody with their cats. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's cats, it, it can be, it can be um, hazardous to a cat's health. Yeah, so we I just pulled that from, from Yeah, the we just pulled it from the boxes because mm -hmm. we don't, rather than have a disclaimer and hope that everybody reads it, we don't want to find out that somebody's cat got sick because of it. We talk about it, so if people want it, they can go out and buy it. You can buy it in any pharmacy. Um, you can buy it where they have like stuff for toothaches. You can also buy it where they have their essential.